stay tuned guys for a new video. What is going on YouTube? Nicole Spence back at you. I'm out here in Miami Beach, Florida with my girl Kelly. Hey guys. And I got Judah Clark behind the camera. Thanks so much for helping us out. Uh, so today we actually, it's been, the wind's been blowing, the weather is pretty bad. The last couple of days we've been diving and recently Kelly was actually in Venice, Louisiana where the bed and breakfast is. She caught some yellowfin tuna. So we decided that we're going to do, and she speared a AP the other day, which I got to be hands on in the boat right there when she came up with it. It was so <laughs> epic, so exciting. I'm actually going to put that in some of my videos. Um, so stay tuned for that as well, but we are going to uh cook this up or i should say prepare these raw fish yellowfin tuna and ap we're gonna make the tuna into a po a pokey um is it like a poke a poke it's okay pokey poke or poke bowl how do we say it guys you tell us <laughs> it's like a poke poke, poke, poke bowl <laughs> i don't know but we're gonna make it into like a poke bowl and then the ap is a new new recipe that she's taught me that I actually want to use for the bed and breakfast. I'm pretty excited about it. Let, you want to explain it actually? Yeah. So it's called AP Carpaccio and AP Carpaccio? is the Carpaccio, yes. <laughs> it's so cool. I love it. I know. It's Carpaccio. Nice. Carpaccio. Isn't that fun to say? It Carpaccio? Is. It is very fun to say. <laughs> so I actually am excited about this Carpaccio because I can use this at the bed and breakfast also as an appetizer for clients. Yeah. So thank you. And it's super easy. Judah super and fresh. Kelly. <laughs> for this all right so we've been hanging out at the pool all day it was like i mentioned before it was too rough to go offshore so um we are ready to get this started we're hungry and yeah, i'm starving i know i'm excited let's do this so excited let's there cheers oh yeah are you guys ready <laughs> let's go <laughs> All right, so guys, this is actually that AP that she speared the other day. How cool. So they took it and rolled the fish and wrapped it in saran wrap and then froze it like this, the circles. And what we're going to do, we're putting a little bit of heat to it because it actually defrosts pretty quick. I forgot to take it out of the freezer. It's okay. No worries. <laughs> I'm not mad at it. Um, and I guess we're going to like slice it up super thin and that is what's Make to come. Make some magic happen. <laughs> I'm so excited. Cool. All right, guys, so we went ahead and let it defrost a little bit. <clears throat> still <laughs> still a little frozen. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But, um, yes, you want it a little frozen still. All right. Pick your knife. You can have one of those, those and okay. I'll, I'll use this one. This <laughs> I'll use this one. This one. Would that work? All right, cool. <laughs> yeah, any knife is going to work. All right. So I don't even... I don't even unroll them. I just go ahead and cut through the saran wrap. Do you? Okay. Yeah. Really thin. Yeah. So I just go ahead and take that off. Okay. And then the saran wrap just like pops right off. So all your pieces should be about this thin. Yep. Perfect. And then just lay it on the plate. Are we doing two? Yeah. Because one of these is probably going to fill up the whole plate. Get rid of that. And then I kind of like just slide, <laughs> this is looking really weird. I kind of just slide the saran wrap right off and I hold on to the saran wrap. I like cut it because your fingers get really cold. <laughs> uh, all right, and slice. I'm learning guys. <laughs> this is a new one for me. New I can help you with the, with the tuna. Oh yes. Yeah, you can, you can shed some, some uh, education on me with tuna. Let me some tuna. Cause you're tuna girl over there in tuna town. <laughs> tuna girl. <laughs> I caught my first yellowfin tuna like probably like two weeks ago. So that was pretty. So epic. exciting. 
Mm. I keep looking at the camera and messing up my cuts. This is a chunky piece. All right, so you kind of want to keep it thin, I guess. Yeah, and thin enough to like, where it doesn't fall apart, but thin enough where it's not a big old chunk of fish. Yeah, because what we end up doing is putting some stuff with it. Like I think um, lemon and oil and... Red onion? Oh, red onion, that's right. And... and lemon. No, what are the little... Um, Oh, capers. Oh, we're missing them. We need capers. Oh, yes. And little capers, and then you get like a little a little cracker, and you put the fish on the cracker mm -hmm. and eat it like yeah. that. Yeah, super, super easy. Let but, me get the capers. Yeah. Capers. Capers. <laughs> All right, there we go. My hand is freezing. Yeah. Kimber, Kimber is patiently waiting Because she wants for a bite. treat. <laughs> Should we give her a Kimber, treat? Kimber, what are you doing? All right, I can't. Oh, here, I'll give her this little. My oh. messed up piece, there you go. No, Kimber, ready? Good girl. Joe, you didn't see that. Oh, no. Oh, I'm missing. All right, here. Oh, so She tries. All right. We're using my handy dandy flip out knife by Bubba Blade. <laughs> She's using the multiflex. Multiflex. Yeah. So is it flexible? <laughs> well, it's um, it you can like change interchange the. Uh, oh, it's like blades. a multiflex like series blades. of blades. Oh, yeah. cool, cool. Got you. And that one, I think you said would work for that. Is it working okay, or do you want to change the blade? No, that's working great. This one's working good for me too. Yeah. What is this? I think this is the seven inch. Good. Gosh, it's like sure. a, you need I personal preference for the knives to cut thin pieces of, of raw fish is you need a really thin blade. Because yeah. one time I cut fish with a really, really thick blade. It was actually yellowfin tuna. I seared yellowfin tuna not too long ago when I caught it. And I used like a really thick chopping knife to cut it. And I couldn't make like nice thin pieces. So my seared tuna was like big chunky pieces. So yes. Thin knife, I think, works a lot better. Learning something new every day. <laughs> From my falls apart. This right here, I like. Guys, it's it's not always about what it looks like. It's about what it tastes like. It's gonna be delish. <laughs> All right, so we snacked on a few, um, but this is the overall. This is the outcome of our AP carpaccio. Um, basically, carpaccio is just a raw fish or a raw meat. Um, topped with the lemon av avocado, the lemon, the what? Oh, the olive oil. Olive oil. Um, <laughs> the lemon, olive oil, lemon. the capers, and the onions. Um, it's ugh, it's so good. Honestly, I just learned about this probably like a month ago, and it's like one of my top five favorite dishes to make and to eat. I just learned about it last night, and it's one of my favorites already. For real. Cannot wait to use that. Use this at the bed and breakfast. Ah! Oh yeah, it's gonna be. Clients so cool. are gonna love it. So. <laughs> All right, guys, so we just finished up. This is our carpaccio, which is a thinly sliced, um, white fish i guess is what we're gonna call it I think you can also use like different types of red meat too oh cool yeah, okay 100 percent. but I, I think <laughs> see that's cool i this is definitely a new dish and i'm really excited to use this at the bed and breakfast so Super all right let's make that poke bowl yeah okay <laughs> cool